Damn, I didn't tag anyone. That's crazy. What is up, everyone? Welcome. Welcome to another stream. Welcome to this beautiful Sunday evening. What is everybody doing? Damn, I'm, I'm trying to add some music to the stream today. Not quite sure if you guys can already hear it. Uh, and if not, then maybe if I press my... Um, if, 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 we go, if we go to program mode, maybe, maybe then you guys will, will hear. I'm, I'm hearing it already, but that's because OBS, right? OBS shenanigans. And today we're gonna, we're gonna do decentralized poker. We're gonna continue the grind. Mos, Mos Hago, what is up, man? Welcome here. Welcome here, we're the army of the high value engineers where I'm gonna teach you skills to pay the bills. Damn, I should tag everyone here. Get damn it. Everyone, I'm gonna tag them. Fuck it. I'm gonna stalk them. All right, let, let, let me see if the music is, is, is gonna work. Let me guys, let, let me know if the sound is okay. Let me know if the music is fine. Uh, so I can adjust it, right? So I can, I can make it perfect. I can make it pinpoint precise. Yes, um, is everything okay actually? My lights are on. Yes, yes, yes. What up Federico? Federico, can you, games are, what up man? Uh, can you, can you, do you guys hear music? Lofi beats. Which VS Code team are you using? I'm using Groovebox. Groovebox is what I'm using. And it's the the heart uh, thingy. You have Groovebox heart, which is a better contrast or something. That's what I'm using. And if you type exclamation mark VS Code in the chat, you will uh, find my repository where I have my uh, VS Code settings and teams and, and, and all that shenanigans. The whole shebang. The whole shebang is there. Uh, yes, nice music and right volume so far, which is amazing. Okay, so I did a, a completely refactor of my microphone. <laughs> I put them in another angle. Corwin, man, Corwin the goat. Corwin the Facebook. What is up, Facebook? And my apologizes because my girlfriend roasted me. Yesterday, yesterday morning, they, she roast me because she said, you need to be, you need to answer all questions in your chat and you were ignoring Facebook. And I said, oh no, oh no. And I, I, I feel so bad because Facebook, I don't want to ignore you, but sometimes these messages go with the speed of light and I miss them. So my bad, my man, uh, it's my bad. All right, so game state. Today we're gonna do poker. Um, Corbin, man, but Corbin, uh, thank you for the submission of your, um, uh, go fetch thingy, <laughs> the cat fetch thing, uh, made me smile. It's very nice approach with this promise thing. Um, hey, clearly a high value engineer, my man. Big kudos. Okay. So let's focus up. Um, let's make a run because I have no clue where we are. Sometimes it is what it is. So we are connecting the boys and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna deal we're gonna do the complete deal round trip and everybody is dealing of course we have an issue because uh, some players were connected and they were not ready and we we deal we still deal so that's that's a thing we need to fix uh so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna open up my uh, very advanced task management system and that's basically a to-do text file <laughs> uh, we're gonna say the first uh, to do you don't need to make to do's because you can just do it like this we're gonna say um, make sure we only deal to the players my, my hands man what's this palms are sweaty knees weak but my arms are heavy uh, make sure we only deal to the players that uh, have the ready status. 
Yes. You see? Let me go to server. Hop. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that. Because I think we're gonna... We're gonna what we're gonna do is this place ready thingy. I think we're gonna remove this. And we are just gonna use a players list. We could say, for example, uh, to do... To do... We're gonna say... Add and DM, which is me. Um, maybe... Use... Players list. Question mark, question mark. Instead. Uh, like this. Alright, so what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna try to uh, add some player actions, right? We're gonna add these player actions because we have... Uh, let me open up messages so I can basically do some context. Give you guys some context. Massage. So we have these uh, message ank deck. Ank deck, which is the encrypted deck we send over, right? Our shuffle... Um, or shuffle consensus, if you want to say it like that. We have this message ready, which is basically when players are ready to join the game, which we can access with our HTTP stuff, right? We could, the client, the UI, for example, can do a JSON request and, and, and join the game. But we also gonna, <coughs> we also gonna add player actions. And that's not the same thing as, as these status messages that's basically for example an action fault or an action bet or an action check which is going to be nasty checks are going to be filthy but uh yeah it is what it is man we're going to deal that we're going to deal that we're going to deal with that all right so but first first things first let's open up server again um uh, i think we need to do so once we where is this thing i think we had something like a round trip complete or something man this mic is i need to what did we how did we call this haha -ha, here shuffle round complete right so who is going to be responsible for saying that the shuffle round is complete well that's the dealer because he is the only one that's going to know when the round is complete dsp hello all engineers what is up dsp welcome uh damjan welcome welcome to the army of the high value engineers. Uh, shuffle round complete. So the dealer is the only one that's gonna know when the when the shuffle consensus is done. And I'm calling it consensus. It's it's a much it's the word is too big for what it actually is, but hey. That's what you that's what you need to do in life. You need to be you need to look smarter than you actually are. Uh, so Lockerus info. Uh, I think here we're gonna do we're gonna set our status right we could do uh, G set uh, status uh, status and then we're gonna say game uh, status what's gonna be preflop I think right can we not do this it's a small caps right so we're gonna say yo the game status is preflop but that's our game status right so now we need to notify everybody that we are in preflop so everybody can act, so everybody that's receiving a pre-flop message can act upon that and say, okay, we are in pre-flop. And then we can do um, player actions, which we're going to do with our HTTP JSON thing. And we're going to test that, and it's going to be cool, I hope. Unless we run into problems, which could be the case. So we're going to say G set status, uh, and then we're going to... Send to players, and that's going to be... We don't have a status preflop, right? Uh, a message preflop. So we're going to we're gonna create one. Uh, we're going to say type uh, message preflop. Like this. Wait, what am I doing here? It's going to be a strict. Man, what's going on? Man, my hands are so cold. Man, it's, it's crazy. Let me... <laughs> message preflop. Uh, that's gonna be just a message. And maybe we should um, copy this shenanigans. Paste it in. And we're gonna say message uh, preflop. A string, and that's gonna be preflop. Right? Yeah. So we're gonna say it's gonna be a message uh, preflop. This is already better. I, my hand's feeling better. Message preflop, and then we're gonna send to players. We're gonna send that to everybody in the game. And that's gonna be... 
Uh, I think we had something like get, get other players. <clears throat> and we need to uh, spread that slice or uh, yeah. I don't know if it's spreading. I don't know what the word is for these three thingies. If somebody knows the exact terminology for these three dots, I'm calling that slice spreading, but it's probably not, not a thing. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we need to go to a server and we need to catch that uh, message. Uh, Marek, hey Anthony, how do you switch uh, between left and right screen by only keyboard? Yeah, so basically, um, what I'm, I have Vim, Vim keybinds, but these these keybinds that I'm using for these uh, windows are not default Vim keybinds. So I'm using my leader, right? So I'm loading, I'm using leader V, leader V, and my leader is space, right? So I can do space V, and it opens up a new window, right? You see? And then if I'm doing leader uh, H, then I go left, and leader L, <laughs> I don't know the things, it's just muscle memory. A leader L, I'm going right, so I can basically swap between left and right faster than the speed of light, you see? And then I can open up my terminal and close it, and I can open up my thingies here, and I can open up more screens, you know what I mean? Uh, you need to you need to do that if you want to be a high value engineer you need to have these key bindings and you can use whatever you want um that's why i'm coding faster than a team of four people <laughs> it is what it is and it only takes a couple of weeks it's the same thing with playing counter strike or something your aim once you you, you have this missile memory you're basically headshotting the hell out of every kit it's practice right practice makes perfect uh, game state this this thing and now i totally forgot what we're gonna what we're gonna do oh yeah we're gonna catch the message um where is that thing it's it's below i remember it's somewhere here yes here all right so we're gonna say case message p list is fine we're gonna say case uh message uh, pre flop uh like this and we're gonna say return s handle message uh, pre flop, which does not exist. And we're gonna give the MSG from. That's the only thing we need to know. Because we don't have any payload inside of that strict. It's just. And then we're gonna make that, uh, that function. So I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna paste it in. And then we're just gonna change uh, this to message pre flop. And then instead of this thing, we're gonna say game states. Um, We have set player ready, right? But the set player ready. Uh, uh, let, let's go. Let's find this thing. Yeah, th this has some logic. So I think we're gonna. Do we have a set status? But it's a pr it's a private function. Yeah, <clears throat> you see, it's a private function. So. But what we're gonna do is some some uh, some tactics. We're gonna do we're gonna make the same function, but we're gonna capitalize it. We're gonna make it public. Uh, it's gonna be set status uh, rather, and then we're gonna say the same thing. It's gonna be a game status, and we're actually gonna we're gonna call we're gonna call the private function here. Uh, set status, yeah, and just put in the status, and then here we can do other stuff, right? So it's it's a common practice. You 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 s probably have already seen this in, in in other repos where you see what what is this? We have a set status and then we have a public set status and and it's calling each other. That's because we don't want to maybe internally, right? Maybe internally you can use set status, which basically just does what it what it needs to do is setting a status atomically in this case. But in a public in a public function, this could do other stuff, which you don't need internally, if that makes sense. And then you can do something like that. Of course, right now we just say set status, but I think we are gonna check things later on here, right? Not quite sure. If you, if you're wondering what I'm why I'm doing this, then then that, that's that's the answer. Um, let's clear 
thingy uh, and then we're gonna say set uh, status here and we're gonna say we don't need this we're gonna have a game status pre-flop right pre-flop right and of course these errors I know there is no error but this makes it compatible with this function handle message so we can just return it you see we can just return this thing but uh, some some functions will return an error right and some none so it is what it is we need to live we need to learn to live with that yes okay let's let's test this let's do the dopamine let's give us some dopamine injections right you see uh, things happening on the screen gives you dopamine it, it, it will make you go do, do stuff okay we have an error and uh, it's i know it's the classic uh gop encoding error broadcast error extra blah 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 uh type not registered for interface that means that only means one thing what's going on here vs code please uh that only means that we need to register it. I'm gonna say message preflop, right? So in GOP you can register these things, and you need them because we're using them as an interface in um, handle message. Let me open up that up and let me show you that handle message. Where is this? Here you see. So handle message is basically switching on the payload, which is an. Uh, let's open up message. Here, you see, payload is any, right? And this message is getting decoded with GOP. But GOP does not know what, what type of interfaces it could be, right? So that's why we need to register that so GOP can do some binary magic tricks. So, he, so it can know what it actually is. It's the same thing that Protobuffer does, by the way, but it's uh, differently, but, but the same approach. And I promise that we are going to make a project with protobuffers and gRPC very soon. Like I said before, guys, I'm doing things nobody else is doing. And everybody, every other tech influencer or tech, tech streamer or tech whatever, course seller, <laughs> is shitting their pants because they see what I'm doing. And their course that's costing $500 is... <laughs> It's garbage, and I'm doing this for free, and they're making these courses for for two hundred fifty dollars or something, and and it's total trash. It makes me so. It makes me. It, uh, it makes me. It makes me feel good to see that these guys are selling complete bullshit. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let's make run. What is up, Nova? Welcome. All right, so we're dealing, and th this this is all this logging. Maybe we should do something. Pre-flop. Everybody is in pre-flop, which is perfectly fine. Right? And why are we already in pre-flop? This is because we are setting these these uh, statuses or cells, right? So uh, normally, we, the game should actually... You should press a button, right? And then the, the button will communicate with the server, and then the shenanigans will happen. But we... We are script kiddies, so we don't, we're not gonna set the status con con continuously to ready in Postman, right? We're not gonna do that. So we basically do this uh, HTTP get, right? So we are setting the status ourselves programmatically. Uh, wouldn't gener generics work for the payload? Um, that's a good question, uh, Federico. I don't think so. No, because... Yeah, it, it could be. It could be, by the way. But... Gen this If we do generics, for example, like... Um, like this, right? And then we could do V. And then we could do payload V. But the problem is then... Yeah, that could maybe work. Yeah, yeah. That could be that could be an option. But the only thing I know about Golang Genetics that it can it can be so nasty, because uh, a lot of people are have a misconception about genetics, right? Because 
genetics is good, for example, for, for a generic list or something, but sometimes because the, when I was creating the blockchain from scratch series, right, I was trying to use generic genetics too much. And um, what basically happens is that even though it's generic, you still need to let the compiler know what, what type it's going to be somewhere. So it could have like a... You need to traverse, right? If you have something something generic deep inside your code base, like something that's being called by something is being called by something that's being called, right? Then you need to, um, how do you say that? Um, yeah, you need to traverse and keep specifying what type it is. And that's <laughs> that, that could be nasty sometimes. So genetics is pretty good, but I wouldn't overuse it. And... The way it works right now is pretty fine, right? We have an any type and then we can just in the server, right? We can just uh, in handle message uh, like here. We can just uh, switch on this type, right? And then, then we can just use this as a multiplexer, as a router. And uh, it's basically the OG style of doing things in Go. Not quite sure if, if genetics would help here, but uh, that could be a possibility. Mass Web 3, love your accent. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's basically a scuffed version of Eng uh, English with uh, some Dutch. Flemish, by the way. Flemish. Vlaams. <laughs> but hey, uh, if you like it, it's, that's the better, right? I mean... Uh, okay, pre-flop. Everybody's pre-flop. Fine. The next thing. So, let us think, uh, let us think real quick. So, if we are pre-flop... That basically means that who's gonna start after pre-flop? Well, basically, the client, right? The UI, the game itself, because if you're a game programmer and you're programming a multiplayer game, you have something that's called the client and the server, right? And the client will basically make sure, the client will make sure that it will notify the player Hey, it's your turn, right? So after, if you are in pre-flop, who is next? That's the, the small blind, I think, right? The small blind. So the client is gonna pop up, just like in PokerStars, like, hey, yo, small blind, it's time to, to, um, to, to whatever, I don't know, small blind, uh, to check or, or no, to, 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 to race or to uh, just uh, call. Just call the, the the big blind or something, whatever. I'm not a poker specialist. I know the basics. But the server, right? If you if you write your own client, you could basically already send a message from from the big blind, even though it's not your turn. But the server needs to make sure that 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 oh, I get a message from the big blind, but it's actually the small blind is turn. So we need to make sure that that cannot happen. If that makes sense. Um, that's the thing. The same thing that if you are, for example, speed hacking in a game, right? So you're, you're running at 9 milliseconds uh, a meter or something. But you're writing your own client and you sending messages that you're basically uh, going to the speed of light. Then the server needs to de detect that and then probably ban you, right? Or something like that. Yes. Uh, I think we're going to do something like making uh, a type action. Uh, and that's going to be a uint8. A uint8. And a uint8 is just a byte, right? So actually what you also could say is byte. It's the same thing. Um, but uint8 is just much cooler, isn't it? I mean... If people say, hey, what the hell is using a UNT? That's crazy. But it's actually just a byte. So for the sake of everybody, I will just use a byte, right? So we're going to say const. Uh, and we're going to say player action. What can we do? We can say player action fault. And that's going to be an action. Actually, we're going to say it's going to be a player action. Uh, player action. And it's going to be player action... Yes, and then we're going to say is iota, and then we're going to say plus one. Why am I doing this? 
and I will explain because I this is something I'm gonna teach you because it's it's I shoot myself so hard in the foot uh, with not doing this and I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this so the next thing is a player action um, what can we have uh, I think check or something yeah and then we're gonna say a player action bet Uh, I, you want to I love the high value elevated music. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's the only music that I'm pretty sure that uh, has no uh, copyright claims or something. I think Lofi, Lofi Girl is basically free to use without uh, me getting my ass banked by Google himself. Um. Listen. Isn't that amazing? Ah mm -hmm. oh, man, that, that makes me feel so happy. I can, man, I can only have water in my eyes. It's crazy, guys. All right, player action bet. What can we do? Check bet, and um, of course you have these crazy things, right? Like you could do a, a, a bet and then a re-raise and that. But we're gonna keep it easy, right? We're gonna keep it chill. We're gonna make sure we keep uh, pumping the dopamine into our brains and do and and, and yeah. So this thing, uh, nice addition. Yeah, I was thinking somebody in the in the community on Discord uh, told me this. He said, uh, "Yo, uh, Anthony, you, you you're telling us that sometimes if you need to think, uh, you're afraid to to do that because you you want to keep it entertaining, uh, but music could help you fill the gap, so people could actually zone in." Even though we're not saying anything. <laughs> we could vibe, eh? Hey, hey. It is but this. Yeah, so this this IOTA thing. Let me teach you some skills to pay the bills. If we don't do this plus one, right? Let me let me show you what's gonna happen. Where are we? Let's open up message here. And servers. No, uh game state. Game state here, right? Um, where is this? Where is my loopy? Here. Uh, so we have this we, and then we're gonna say um, this is just for for showing you, right? We're gonna say action. We don't need this logging, by the way. This is just a, a demonstration. And we're gonna say um, players action. What was the first one? Uh, fault, I guess. Right. So make run. Right. This is gonna be zero, right? This is gonna be zero. <clears throat> So we are basically making an enum, and you see the 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 what's going on here? They are they are doing stuff. The action is zero, right? That's fine because in an enum that could be completely fine. And then basically the action uh, check will be one, and and bet or or something will be will be two, right? But the problem is that uh, what I experienced multiple times in uh, where is the status here here. That if you put this thing in a strict, for example, and you're debugging, right? I think we had that with our cards. Let me open up. Let me open up that up. Let me open up that up. That's completely no decent sentence, but it is. Here, you see. Actually, we didn't fix this, right? So we have spades, suit, iota, which is zero, right? And we were doing some stuff with the uh, encryption, and I locked the output of that encryption stuff, and I saw that this, uh, that the strict had this spades. But the strict wasn't, wasn't even serialized at all. It was just an empty strict. And Golang basically initializes all values to a default state, which is for an uh, integer or even a byte is zero. So even though the strict is completely garbage, we still see the spades, and I was so happy that it worked, but it didn't work. So I, <laughs> that's why I'm thinking um, instead of making this start from 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 zero, let's make it start from one. So this is going to be one, and then uh, what's going on here? This is going to be two, and this is going to be three, right? You know what I mean? Instead of zero, la la la. You so you see, that's a thing. Um, is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. I just want to try this. It doesn't actually matter, but 
Now we're gonna be sure if this if the action the player action is zero. Now we can actually check it, right? Now now we can do some logic with it. We could say if the action is zero, this is an invalid action. But if you don't do this, then zero is a valid action. You know what I mean? You know where I'm where, where I'm going. So that's the thing. Alright, uh player action and then. Do we want this uh, thing here? Do we not want to copy this in game state, by the way? Plus one is only for the first fellow. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Corwin. So basically here, player action, Iota. Uh, this will increment and it will start from one. And if you say two, it will start from two. And you can also do some crazy shifting uh, shenanigans here. But uh, hey, let's keep it. Let's keep it clean. It's still before 10. So let's not make it too dirty at this hour, right? Kids, kids are still watching. Hey. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So let's also make something like are we gonna we gonna m split these things in, in in the correct file, right? But I, I want to have these things right now in front of my eyes because some people what they do and they make a new file, right? They go make a new file and put 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 the the, the action there and then they. Make, make a message file and they put a the message there and then if they need to uh, do some stuff they need to file juggle and then they're basically exhausted and then by the end of the day they didn't do nothing uh, just uh, browsing folders right that's not what we want to do so we're going to say type uh, action I guess no we're going to say uh, player action message yeah how did we how did we no i know what we're gonna do we're gonna join this paste it in here and i will make sure that it's a uh, top for you guys hernia man i can't yes i can it's gonna be let's make it consistent message player action yeah that's fine that's fine and that's gonna be a strict and we're gonna say we're gonna have a game state i think it's gonna be a game status status and then we're gonna say uh the action right or action player action and then you're going to say value which is going to be an int right so we're going to say uh let's join this and uh, we say current game status uh, is the current uh, status of the player of the sending player his game this needs to be the exact same as ours yeah the action and then this is basically um, the value of the bet uh, if any right does it make sense why do we need the game? Uh, why do we need the current game status? Because it's a, di a distributed environment, right? And all these messages, they are flowing around. And you never know when something, you, you actually never know when some message is going to be received. There is no, we don't know. So we need to make sure, I think this is a good check to make sure that if you receive an action from a player, right? That if you are in pre-flop, that his current game status is also pre-flop because otherwise i don't know we are in it's it's basically we cannot do anything with this message we need to drop it right uh, you never know it could work without but i think this is uh, a safe way a safe way to say and let me quickly check um, all right with gucci <coughs> We could actually make this complete by saying um, action. What's going on here? Tops. 
we could say action is the current wait is the action is the action is the action that the player is willing to take all right and now what are we gonna do with that thing So what we're gonna do, I think uh, everybody's in pre-flop, so everybody's waiting, and the client already knows that, right? The client already knows it's pre-flop, so it's time for the big blind to to do stuff. So the big blind has now a big pop-up, like, hey, with, with a timer or something, like 60 seconds, I have no clue how many seconds. Uh, every single action will be stored in a database chain, that's a good question, actually, uh, reform, ref reform dot it's a good question um no no actually not we could though we could we could uh store the state of the game or, or basically parts or actions of uh, of the game into a chain into solidity with, with solidity or something or or just store it um so so people can verify the game but there is no way to cheat at the moment. There is no way to cheat. I'm thinking actually, I'm thinking because you put me to think to, to, into a thinking state, which is very good. Um, because the problem is, <clears throat> the problem is uh, reform dot, that basically in this, distributed environment, decentralized environment. Every player, every player needs to store every player's action. If you know what I mean. So if we have 10, if you have three players and, and player one, <laughs> and player one sends a message, then every player needs to send his version of that message, right? If you know what I mean. Because if, if only one player sends, sends his message, it makes no sense. Everybody needs to agree that that was the message everybody received from, from that guy. Uh, what happens if you lose connection? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, once again, not uh, we, have, we have a problem. Uh, like I said before, we are making this... We first try to make it work, right? We try to make all these messages work. We, all, we, 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 can, we also have the encryption uh, algorithm. Uh, that's that, that's working like the the encryption sh uh, round trip shuffle round trip but of course if somebody loses connection right now we have no support for that right um good question you you should you should be able to fetch the state uh, i don't think so i think um players the players will will, will make sure he's in the, in, in the good state Actually, I have a good point. I'm thinking about this. So basically, let's say you have 60 seconds to do your move, right? Or, or 15 or whatever, and you lose connection. And you come back. So your timer is still going, right? Unless you're, of course, timed out, then, then, then it's pretty fine because then, you're, then it's gone, right? But if you still have your timer going, how do you know it's your turn? And... That's, that could be the handshake uh, reform. That could be the handshake, right? Let, let, we, we are here, right? The handshake. So basically, at each time you connect, right? Each time, where is this thing? Handshake. Let, let's, let's go to handshake real quick. It's very good that you do this. Uh, handshake, strict server. Which one is this? Handshake, boom, here. So each time you connect, you do a handshake and you send a version. Everybody is basically uh, exchanging. So basically, if I'm deconnected disconnected and i connect back to one of the peers it does not matter who it is in the game literally it does not matter we will send the peer list and everybody you will have the whole the whole players of the game that's that's perfectly fine and the guy you're connecting to will send his current game state so you know oh we are in pre flop and what the what we also basically could do is in the handshake is checking if we are if you are doing a handshake right we could check are we are we in a game Yes, we are in a round. The guy that's connecting to us, is it his turn? Do we know him? 
Yes. Then we need to... S we can reply with, with, with whatever it needs to do. If that makes sense. Maybe something like that. Because I think we don't need to have any... State... In a blockchain or something. Because the way we encrypt already makes it impossible to hack. Because a hacker needs to basically encrypt. Decrypt basically. Needs to decrypt the keys of every single player. His computer. <laughs> that, that, that's, already, that's already a big win. If you can do that then. Uh, but. Um, and for the rest we could basically. Regather our state. By just doing peer-to-peer -peer shenanigans. But that could also be not the case. <laughs> we will see when once we're there. Uh, and thank you very much to uh, challenge me in this way. Uh, that's Now I already can think about it. Because I, I actually didn't thought about it at all. So thank you very much. Um, and now we are fucked because I don't know where... Well, what is this thing? Look at this. Look at this VS Code. Is unused. Man, now I need to zone back in. That's the hard part. We were doing this with display action. The game should have a status and IDs of the players currently playing. If you are playing and you ask for the game status, the game returns it and you get updated. Yeah, something like that, exactly. The players, the network itself, the four, five, six, seven players connected can basically lift each other back up. If we connect with a handshake and then, because we have a players list, right? We have this here. Uh, man, I'm totally lost in salvation. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we have we have this players ready and we have this players list so we can perfectly see if somebody is disconnected we can we can track that and if he comes back up we can send them exactly what's needed and everybody can send it so if everybody sends the same thing it means that everybody agrees right that's that's in life that's life the majority wins the quorum the quorum always wins just like the house always wins All right, uh, let me quickly focus uh, back up because I'm. Uh, and from time to time, I will, I will, I will answer questions and go a little bit in depth. Uh, player action, player action. Okay, so player action. We have this full thingy. That's perfectly fine. Now we need to find a way to put a move. Uh, so I think first of all we need to have in this game state or game set status and all that thing. I'm gonna put it here. I don't care. I'm gonna say game. Uh, G game. The question is how we, how how are we going going to route this? Because let's take a step back, right? Let's let's go back to um, let's go to server here. Handle message, right? This is not coming from handle message. This is coming from API. How do we do this? We say uh, ready or, re or ready message. And then we say uh, handles players ready. And for the people uh, questioning, why are you using an HTTP and not a WebSocket? Because we're going to use WebSockets for updating the game real time in the client. But we're going to use HTTP JSON encrypted TLS of course to send commands because that doesn't matter right it's just one of one of messages join the game bet fault check so handle players ready that's the server what what as game, it's the game itself. Set ready. Okay, cool. So we don't do anything with the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So we need to find a way to say... Uh, maybe something like uh, handle player action. Uh, 
And that's going to be... Uh, probably a pointer or something, I don't know. It's going to be a player action, I'm thinking, because this is... This is new stuff. Um, and then we're going to say... Maybe an error, not quite sure. Like this. Um, we, we could switch here, right? We could say, uh, switch. Actually, well, what am I doing, to be honest? Because we also need to send that, uh, I was planning to send that message over the wire to the other guys. Actually, we can make it, we can make it simple. We can make it so simple. We could say, funk. Uh, G game and maybe you could do it like this instead of making these complex things we could just say fault and call it a day All right and then we could just say here let's copy this thing hop and then say handle players uh, fault or something and then we can say uh, fault Is that a thing? <laughs> I have no clue. We will see. We're gonna we're gonna start folding. S sounds like the sounds like the most easy one. Uh, handle funk ready. We're gonna say handle funk fault. And then we're gonna say make HTTP handle funk handle player fault. You see? Just a nice decoration of this function so we can return an error because a lot of these even Google employees, my friends, <laughs> even. Core Google employees, Golang contributors, they forget <coughs> to return arrows here. And it does not need to. You're not, it does not need to, but the problem is and you need to handle the error in your, in your handler. Handle error here, right? Which is nasty. You know, you know what it is. It's nasty because you need to handle the error and then you need to return JSON. Uh, your error as JSON. So instead, what you should do is return an error in your handlers, right? And then you can handle the error here, perfectly fine. But then you can say, yo, 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 Anthony. Nice, but look at this, status bad request. <laughs> what if I want to return an internal server error or a method not found? Or even, I don't know what crazy methods there are. That's true, but you can make also your custom error in Golang, right? You could say type uh, my errors, right? And make it a struct like this. And then you could say uh, an error here, and a, that could be a string or even an error. It doesn't even matter what it is. <clears throat> and I think an error in, an error as an, is an interface. Look at this. Look at this. Error is an interface, boys. The only thing you need to implement is error. So if you want to make your own error, the only thing you need to do is do this. Funk, uh, E, my error, error, all right, what's going on here? This is, this is next level teaching, uh, trust me. What's going on? Function, error, and what, what does it need to return? Uh, I forgot. Let's go back, let's go back real quick. Hop. A string even. Uh, string, all right, like this. And then you return, for example, uh, return E, error, error. Yeah, of course. Uh, let's do this, right? What the fuck? R, then. A. Right? Like this. And then, you can return that, right? You can you can easily um, return like this, right? Because we, we, we can return an error here, right? So, we can do... Um, what's this? This is no Python, right? With these capital things, it makes no sense. True, like this. Come on, we who invented that language? <clears throat> so we can say uh, my error, right? Like this, it's just perfectly fine. And then you can say some some error is like uh, that's not a string, right? It needs to be an error. So you can pipe in. So let's say you have an error here, 
a, a real go error for example errors um, new like this and then say so this is a real go error right this this r is is, is error right add invalid type what's going on here um it doesn't matter it's it, and then we say add here and then everything is happy yeah everybody's happy right and then you could say what the hell are you doing but then you could you could do this here right you could say um you could assert your error here for example if uh if r is is error or something I, my error i did this before something like this right or a switch you, you could do you could check what error this is and then return the appropriate status if you know what i mean um that's the thing so and then you could say if this if it's that error then then, then then we take another 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 status or something you know um that's that's advanced stuff uh but but that's how you you can swap the the status if you if you're wondering we are getting out of track but hey it does not matter some error shenanigans why not what what chess golibowski hello i would like to ask for your advice how can i start learning game development when i'm completely new completely new to game development or completely new to programming in general a very important uh, context we need to know yes so folding folding here right and then we call we call a uh, game fault right we, we don't need to do complex things in these handlers it's just a way to communicate right it's just a signal boom boom no no fancy stuff <clears throat> why go over rust in this project um i i'm gonna challenge uh, yeah too much concurrency too much concurrency yeah makes no sense uh to make this in rest you could you could you could you could do but um yeah it, it, it would not be bad to make this in rust but i think go makes more makes more sense for this language for this specific problem we are trying to solve i think go makes more 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 sense than rust right with all these messages and communication and adding peers and of course rust can do the same thing but um I think you will have a better time doing this in Golang than in Rust. That's my opinion. In general, um, well, listen. If you want to, if you want to learn how to make games, the only way to do this is is to make games, right? And and make it simple. Make it simple. Just open up, learn Python or something, or or a simple language, and and try to do game stuff in in a terminal right make some players let them fight um make a game loop right and, and and print things out in the in the in your terminal in your in your thingy right in your in your console and let them fight and make them hp and if somebody dies he dies and and give them items or something make a game where where each 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 two minutes, your 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 character gets more HP and gets a, uh, get and gets uh, a better, stronger weapon, and 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 all that stuff, something like that, and and let uh, the the attack power uh, random, make it random, and let it scale, and then you could have some some random game and see how much, see how how it works, see how things go, if you can win, and what do what do you need to adjust to 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 make it's that kind of stuff, right? That's very basic, but that will people can maybe laugh about this but <laughs> listen if you are trying to import a new programmer and you're gonna grab his 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 his, his color and you're gonna put them in front of c sharp or c plus plus of unity of unreal i can swear to god he's gonna quit the same day you put him front because it's too much going on it's too complicated and he will not get any dopamine he will not his reward level uh, it's his reward levels will not be triggered and that's the reason why people quit because they are not getting triggered in their brain 
if something if if you do something in life and it gives you a good feeling you will keep doing it that's the thing if something is painful if something frustrates you you will quit so you need to find a way to start learning what you want to learn in a certain in, in that kind of way that gives you a constant shot of dopamine and what is the best way what can be better than making something in 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 on your computer in your in your editor and seeing player names and hps and and seeing enemies dying on your terminal even though it's not 3d but can you imagine for a new programmer what feeling he will get by doing such simple things and that's how he will understand that's how we will link logical connections learn how 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 it all works and then you can level up right then you can level up that's how you need to do things in life every single thing for someone who just joined the stream and to the project what do you mean too much concurrency well well thing is uh, we, we, let me run this thing so basically we have all these players and they are connecting with each other and then they are sending um, each player is basically handshaking with each player um, it's uh, receiving messages uh, f from everyone in a, in a different way in in, in non in a non-deterministic order and and we have our http server going on and and it's it's just there's a lot a lot of things going on in this in, in this thing already although it's it's a kind of new project but there's a lot of lot of things going on and in the rest you're not gonna have a good time believe me and and, and there will be rest gurus that tell you oh, it's not true and blah 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 and you need to do rest and but it isn't it's not going to give you a good time. If you want to do, if you want to do, for example, these these plain bite mechanics, if you want to make like a turbo pack or something, right? Turbo packs within Rust, it makes a lot of sense, right? If you want to make a programming language, if you want to make a compiler or a virtual machine, there is no need to do it in Golang. <clears throat> then Rust makes more sense. If you want to process a video, if you want to, if you want to process video, right? You want to, I don't know what you want to do with your video. You want to process the video, the bytes of the video, use, use Rust. If you want to do game development, you, you, should, you should use Rust. But not for newbies, not for new, not for new programmers, because they will quit. They will quit Rust in the first day. That's what it is. Let us be honest. Sometimes you need to be honest, right? I, I write every single programming language. I can write every single programming language. Am I the best? Of course, not in every single programming language. But I don't need to be, right? I don't need to be. I will be an expert in a programming language the, the, the time I need to be one. If you know what I mean. And and that's that's a problem in the whole tech scene. I made I, I just made a video about it and, and and I was the same guy. I was the same guy when I was the, the, the biggest mistake you can make as a programmer, if you're a new programmer, is the first thing what you do is you're always looking at the most performant language. <laughs> that's what I did. And that's what probably you did. Or, or, or did or, or still doing, right? You're trying to hunt the fastest programming language out there. You go from PHP. You said, fuck PHP, it's slow as fuck. You go to, you, to, to Node.js back in the day, right? Because, oh, Node.js concurrency. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it was bad. Back in the day, in my time, there was no async. It was basically pyramid scheme. It was a pyramid scheme, right? Closure, enclosure, enclosure, enclosure until your screen, until your monitor broke, right? So we said, fuck, fuck, uh, no jazz, it's bad. Then was go, let's go to go. It's, 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 the, it's, it's the best, it's fast, it's from Google. It compiles, it's statically blah, blah, blah. Then it's TypeScript and then, then it's Rust and then Elixir came. It's always something. But, by the end of the day, nobody cares. The only thing you need to do is, is try to find a language that makes sense. I'm not gonna use Golang to make, to parse. I'm not gonna use Golang to make a parser or a compiler, right? That, that, that's, why would I do that? 
then I would use Rust or C++ or something, right? And I'm not gonna use uh, Rust to make some simple script. There are even people making web service in Rust. Could you think about this? Like a simple web API and you use Rust, then you're legit retarded. Then you're, sorry, then I have no explanation for you. If you're the guy that you think you need to make these, these uh, HTTP APIs in, in Rust, there is literally no company on earth that will hire you. Literally none. Nobody is doing this. You need to understand that. Nobody is doing machine learning in Python. Uh, in <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nobody is doing machine learning in Golang. Nobody is, is using uh, the fucking NumPy Golang package. Everybody is using Python for data processing and for, and for these um, machine learning stuff. Nobody is using a, nobody is using JavaScript. So just use what you need to use to your problem. As simple as it is. And that's the thing. First you go for speed, and then then you want to be you want to be a Rust guru because Rust is new. That that's how it goes, right? So all these Rubies guys, all the Ruby and these JavaScript guys, right? So they sit in a language where everybody is discussing constantly and criticizing constantly each other's code, right? So they feel bad because they're trash. So then a new programming language kicks up, right? Rust, Mozilla Firefox, written in Rust. Everybody, oh, it's Rust, it's Ruby, but it's better and it's faster than every other language. They all, they all go to Rust because then they can be the best, right? Because nobody knows how it works. So these guys are basically now the Rust gurus. They know everything. They know every single, the VEC, for example, the VEC thingy, they know every single function you could call, every single method you could call on that thing. And they think they are the best. But unfortunately, nobody's gonna hire them and they're not gonna make any money. That's what it is. You <laughs> killed the whole Python community in one sentence. <laughs> General question, why do you personally prefer programming on your desktop than on your laptop? I'm, I'm actually programming on my laptop, my man. On my Razer Blade 15. Uh, I, I, I I had a Mac, but uh, my Mac cannot handle the video uh, video encoding, decoding that good because I don't have a GPU, a decent GPU on my MacBook. But on this Razer Blade, I have a 2070 RTX, which is basically a beast. And uh, I can stream, run programs. I basically can stream and it will decode, encode on the GPU. So I have CPU over to do, I don't know, shenanigans. All right, but the programming, the programming language discussion is something that will never end. And the only thing advice that I can give you is, it doesn't matter. Pick a language that does the job what it needs to be done. But, but Golang is concurrency, the best, by far the best. It is what it is. Everybody's using Golang. Twitch, Golang. Ethereum, Golang. Kubernetes, Golang. Docker, Golang. Everything is Golang. At, uh, at CD, Golang, sent, uh, uh, Golang, it is, every concurrency is Golang, you can say whatever the fuck you want, but it is what it is, and it's, it's the most simple language on the fucking planet earth, it's, it's minimalistic, you, you, you need to, this, there is no fancy stuff here, to be honest, all right, let's go, let's go, uh, and I do, I do Rust stuff too. Am I a Rust specialist? For sure not. Can I make stuff in Rust? Hell yeah. Like I mentioned, a guy commented on my Rust videos, right? <laughs> this guy. Uh, and he told me, whoa, the company, the, the business running on this code will suffer. But for beginners, it's interesting. But the title was Rust for Beginners. And I told them, you can, have, you can better have a company that suffers than no company at all. Because that guy is legit trash. If somebody makes that comment, then he's, he's legit garbage. And I hope he, he, he's watching the stream. You're legit completely trash. <laughs> you, you, you make not, you make, you not even make ATK. It is what it is. Listen, I'm trying to onboard new people into the Rust language by keeping it low level by keeping it simple before we go into threats and into and, and calling all these shenanigans on all these functions. 
you can do a lot of stuff and that's the problem so for all rest people if you want that your language is going to be mainstream you need to make sure that new coders have a good time and don't criticize them because they don't use these fancy things you can do in your language with all these macros which nobody can read and that's also why nobody uses it i'm so sorry and i'm doing my best to to import people into the language but stop telling my code is shit even though it works all right i think we roasted enough i think we uh we shit talked enough okay so look look how fast i'm gonna pick this back up game fault and then we're gonna go to game state Uh, game state. Here. Fault. Uh, so if we fault, what are we gonna do? We're gonna say G set, um, set status. Like this. We're gonna say it's gonna be a game status. Do we have fault? Wait, that's a good question. What status? I think ready. I think game status ready. That could make sense. We don't have ready. I think it's player ready. Yes. Enough of this for today. <laughs> yeah, it is. And uh, before we end the stream, of course, I will take uh, 20 to 15 minutes to, to talk about some questions and some experiences. Um, because people can say whatever they want. But um, I have a lot to share. And uh, like I like you guys know, I walk every single talk. <laughs> it is, I can back things up with pure facts, right? Um Uh, yeah that's why i'm people say i'm arrogant but i call it confident and that's a big difference and if you want to know wh wh where i'm get that quote from it's from Z zlatan ibrahimovic okay so we're going to say game status uh player ready if we fault do we need to let people know that we fault i think so yeah, we're going to make a player action, right? And then we can actually have a, a, some kind of a struct in our game state that collects all player actions and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to say G send to players. Uh, players. And it's going to be a good question. I think we need a constructor for this um, player action, to be honest. <laughs> Guys, please like this is top content. <laughs> I'm just sad that I didn't get uh, here sooner. Uh, whoever shared your channel on Reddit the other day, thank you. Did somebody share my channel? Uh, uh, the poker thingy probably. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, Joe Biden. This guy's a, le a legend. I want to do it myself, but I have no karma. Can you imagine? So the thing is on Reddit, it, it, it's, it's crazy. So if you want to make a post on Reddit, you need karma. But you get only karma by making a post. What the hell? <laughs> What's the logic? Uh, how do you make sure that actions are processed in order? We don't. That's the thing of decentralization. Welcome to the world. I shake your hand right now. Welcome to the shithole of distributed systems. You literally you legit don't. That's why it's so hard, guys. That's why. That's why distributed making distributed systems, making these distributed algor al protocols s servers, is hard. Because, and that's why you may. That's why people that know this will make more money and because nobody knows this stuff because it's hard because you scale and, and and it's needed right this is needed because the world scales humans scale so we need people that can scale that can build stuff that scale and how do you scale to distribute your service to distribute your storage to distribute your key value store distribute all the things that's what it is if you can scale you can also if you can if you can write programs that can scale you can also scale your bank account so we we, we don't know in order but we're gonna fix that right we have an idea because we have a players list a sorted players list right that's why we did this this uh this players list in the beginning where is that thing and we can we can actually get rid of all this code right because we refactored that where is this players list by the way 
What is this guy doing here? Let's let's move him up. Let's let's promote this him. Man, what what the hell is this? I think we can delete this very soon, to be honest. Actually, we can already delete this. If I need something from here, I will go to GitHub. Man. I will I will go to my version. So this players list is basically a sorted list, and then we can know exactly who is sitting where on the table. So if we receive a player action from somebody that's actually not his turn, because we know we can know at each moment uh, whose turn it is. And if we receive a message from a guy that's not on, on which is not his turn, then yeah, we don't do we don't do anything. We drop the message. Um, message player action. We're gonna say funk uh, new player man uh, player uh, action. It's gonna be a pointer or not? I don't think so because it's cop encoding, right? And cop encoding doesn't doesn't really make sense. Uh, message player action like this. Now we're gonna say return me. Uh, a message uh, player action man I'm I'm struggling not gonna lie uh, current game status uh, what are you gonna do game status like that then we're gonna say the action itself it's gonna be a it's gonna be a player action by the way yeah and then we're gonna say the value which do we need this constructor because it, it does not make sense the signature makes no sense i don't think we need it fuck it we're gonna do it uh, just plain plain shenanigans Sometimes, sometimes you change your mind. It, it, that's 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 all right. Where is fault? Here. Uh, send to players. There's going to be uh, a message. Player action. We're going to say, um, and we also need to specify to what players we're going to send this. I think we're going to send this to everybody, right? So you need to think about like this. If you if you work with a centralized server, you just send your player action to one server. And the server will receive it. The centralized authority will receive it. It will make sure that everything is okay. And it will then let everybody know what's going on. But in our case, we basically let everybody know what's going on. And if somebody does not agree with our message, then he needs to then he needs to put put up his finger. And complain right and then the game stops so if you want to if you want to play a fair game everybody needs to be fair or there is no game at all <laughs> you know what i mean it's it's mutual benefits right it's it's the game of mutual benefits if you want to be an asshole well then we don't play right and then we drop your connection and you can play with with the rest of the scammers you know what i mean something like that uh send to players and then we're going to say this is going to be g i think g get other players right G get other players like this and then um, we're gonna say that the action is gonna be a player action player action fault right and then we're gonna say the value is gonna be zero so we don't need to do that and then our game status is gonna be G get current status right what's going on here Oh yeah, we need to do this. What is this error here? Illegal value for line. What are you doing here? You know what? Hey. That's maybe cleaner. And still! What is this? Let's close this file. This file is, co is corrupt as fuck. Does somebody... What 
What's going on? Oh yeah, it's... All right, but wh what is this error? Stop it. Look at this, each time I save. Uh, anyway, let, let, let me let me run this game real quick to see what's going on. Ah, thirty-nine. Where? Message. Thirty-nine. Man, I don't see anything. Thirty-nine. Unexpected, comma, expecting expression. No, I think it is something wrong, but I can't see it. It's some, something very small. <laughs> because we deleted something here and we probably... Did we fix it? We didn't do anything and we fixed it. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> This have receive, right? This have receive, we're gonna delete this. It's unused and uh, we're gonna do something else with um, with the player list, by the way. Pampula, what is up, man? And is the music, uh, the volume, is it okay? Is it okay? Because I have no clue. Um, are we sending this message? I think so. Fault. Here. Uh, we sent this to all players. No, 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 no. That's fine. And then we're going to go to server. And then we're going to try this. We're going to open up Postman. And we're going to fault. <laughs> dopamine. That's what you need to aim for, guys. Dopamine. Dopamine. Although serotonin or serotonin or something. Serotonin is better. Because dopamine is a fake sense of happiness. And... In the army of the higher value engineers, we, we have a real, real happiness, and that's serotonin. So, smoking wheat, drinking beer, porn, which is a good thing, but hey. Games, that's dopamine. Netflix, dopamine. You know what I mean? Mr. Beast, dopamine. That's why he's so, so famous, because people are dopamine slaves. Anthony GG, serotonin. Psychedelics, also serotonin. That's why mushrooms are so good, because they don't give you dopamine, a false feeling of happiness. They gave you serotonin, or, or how, how you it pronounce, I don't know, which is a, a real happiness. Serotonin. Serotonin, all right, whatever. I, know, I call it serotonin, because I don't know. It's, it sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> but uh, that's the real, the real uh, thing, right? That's what you need. That's what you need to aim for. Real happiness and not that, that fake dopamine stuff. You know what I mean? Cookies. Cookies and cream. Not good. Unless it's in your protein. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna say... We're gonna, we're gonna catch this, this fault message from, uh, from the dude that's gonna fault. And then we're gonna... I don't know. Then I don't know what we're gonna do. Like I said, this is, this is pure improvisation, right? I mean, this is coding like you, you code... Like, like, like I quote in a day-to-day -day job, but without the shenanigans, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, we're going to say case, uh, case it's a message, uh, player action. Uh, and we're going to say it's a M MSG from, and we also want the V. The V is basically the action itself. Uh, funk S server. Uh, handle gets uh, player no message player action. We're gonna say from string message is gonna be a player message player uh, action, uh, and then we're gonna return an error. We're gonna return null, so the compiler is happy. What's going on? Case. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? Let's let's do this. Hop, 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 and then going this, and then paste it in here, and return it. You see? This is how you. Man, of course we made a mistake. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see, I see. I see. Hop. All right. And now we're gonna say something like uh, Logris. Um, we do first, let's do the info first. We're gonna say received um, a player action. Received uh, player action. Yeah. And then we're gonna say here Logris. Uh, man, my hands. I'm getting a cramp. Uh, with fields. Yes. Info, Rockless Fields, uh, Fields like this, yes, and then we're gonna say uh, we, which basically are exactly what the word uh, tells, it's we, the server, the address of the server, uh, listen adder, and then we're gonna say from, which is gonna be uh, from, easy, and then we're gonna say the payload, or the action actually, and the action is gonna be, man, what's going on here? My hands. Is it my keyboard? Maybe I should put it a little bit. It's getting cramped. Uh, there's actually going to be the message, I guess. Or maybe the payload. What's in there? Yeah. Alright. Uh, make run. Let's go. What the hell's going on? 278. Damn! I just deleted something that we needed. Look at me. Uh, 278. 78 and I don't... No! It was yellow. It was yellow, it was unused, I swear. Oh, but get next. Oh, look at me. I'm, <laughs> it's the luckiest day of my life. <laughs> look at me. Hop. I'm so lucky. I could just remove the function. I was complaining that I removed the function. <laughs> this is basically winning the lottery. How, how many times you, it, it, it happens this in your life? This is, this is unique. Man, clip this. Uh, okay, and now we can run this, right? Make run. Man, uh, today's my lucky day. All right, so we're sending messages. All good. Everybody's in preflop. Everybody's in preflop. That's good. Now we're going to open up Postman once again. Open Postman. And I'm gonna bring my screen over to you guys at any moment, but I need to make sure that I don't leak any nudes. If you know what I mean. Workspaces. I don't know, like I mentioned before, I don't know why Postman is suddenly a, a cloud-based thing. <laughs> In my time, Postman was a native application, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, workspaces. And of course, we, do, we already have this good stuff, right? Look at this. This is from the from the JSON thingy. Um, how does this work? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna say local host. I think it's three thousand and one. That's uh, wh who's gonna fault? We contest, right? Because we are the dealer. So three, three. Look, wait. Let's let's take a step back. Let's take a step back. Uh, where 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 is the thing? Um, Let's go to main. Main. Main is where the party is. Everybody's in main. Where is main? Here's main. Okay, so we have this, right? And 6000 is sick. I don't know why he's not in the party. The port 6000, he's gone. I don't know. Or maybe I cannot count. One of the two. But 6000, he, he does not join the party. He's not playing poker because he has no money. So 3000, this one is the dealer. Right? Why is this the dealer? Because we in our protocol, we say... That if we boot up a fresh game and we have no state, the dealer will be the first in the list. The list is sorted based on these port numbers, 
which could be also based on the list of IDs or whatever. For now, it's just sorted on this list, right? Which basically means that the dealer is 3000, right? So if we fold right now, everybody can fold, right? If we press, if we, if we open up the JSON API for, uh, for the 7000 kiddo, we can fold, but it's not his turn, right? This is the dealer. So this is the small, this, the SB, right? And this is the BB. And this is the, the, uh, the guy after BB, right? BB plus one. So who, who, who can fault? Everybody actually, but this, this guy, only the message from this guy, we need to process, if that makes sense. <laughs> Best way to fix the error. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, if you want to fix an error and you can remove code, you should do it. But the reason why we could delete this is basically um, because we don't, we, I know we're not going to use it. It was some some recursive shenanigans we did in, in the previous stream, which basically did not work. And I hope nobody will watch that stream because it it doesn't make sense what we, what I tried to do there. Hendrik Christian, have you tried the REST client VS Code extension instead of Postman? No, not yet. Uh, but to be honest, I tried to have my, my VS Code as minimal as possible. Um, because there... I used also this, did you know that you can have, you can have a post, uh, a database uh, client in, in your VS Code. It's crazy. You, you can literally have anything in your VS Code. Uh, read me, uh, markdown editors, uh, literally everything. You can even have Tinder in your VS Code. It's crazy. But I think it will clutter up. Um, and I could be wrong. But I think it will make things slow and... and and I'm actually, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm just a Vim user, right? I, I mean, I, I love to be just in Vim and, and, and open up server here, right? And, and, and but it, it sucks. I don't have my, my terminal and then I need Tmux and, and I don't know. You know what I mean? It's cooler, I know, but VS Code, trust me, VS Code is good. As long as you keep it minimal, right? As long as you keep it minimal. Uh, yeah. What's going on here? But actually a good idea. I'm going to try it, uh, Hen Hendrik. I'm going to try it and see if it's if it works. Is it performant? And then maybe I can use it there because this, this Postman workspace cloud thing, it, it makes no sense to me. All right. So let's assume we, we, it will now work for everyone. But we need to fix that, right? So we're gonna say, let, let's make 4001, right? Let's say this guy, this guy's gonna fault. How do you fault? Like this, right? All right, and this is fault. Yeah, and we need to fix that, by the way. All right, this is working, right? So, so you see, you see what's going on here? Look at this. This guy is player ready, right? That because if we fault, we set uh, the status back to ready because in our code, we have some dealing logic that is if everybody's ready actually we, we made a big mistake by the way we made a big mistake because i think when we have two players that folded <laughs> they're gonna deal again <laughs> can you imagine and the game is not even done so so i see it's already a mistake but let's fix that let's make a fault status by the way let's make a fault status i see because look at this here right somewhere in the code we have, uh, I think it's initiate, initiate, what's going on here? Uh, let's do GD here, yeah, here. Uh, wait, now I'm confused. Is it this one? Shuffle and crypt. Here, get, no. Here, 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 this, this, this thing. Each time we set the player ready, we, we're gonna check uh, if we have enough players, and if we have enough players, we're gonna deal. So we cannot set the player to ready, we need to set the player to fault, and then we need to find a way uh, to reboot the game, to reset the statuses. Henrik, I usually just use a curl and then pipe it into G, yeah. You're right, that's actually a good approach. Um, but for the, for the sake of the stream, having a nice UI to, to 
show the the JSON and everything. And actually, maybe I should uh, I should use curl or something. Uh, that that would make me that would make me look cooler, isn't it? Um. Okay, okay, message status. And I think we, we, are, we are making good progress, not gonna lie. We're making good progress. Uh, because you need to understand that streaming and, and, and doing this will, will delay, right? If you make this without a stream, you can actually work for four hours straight, not, not more, because I don't think you can do that as a programmer. So very important, guys, if your boss or your manager or whatever, I don't care who it is, tells you to work eight hours it's impossible. As a coder, as an engineer, you cannot work for more than four hours or three hours even. Focused. It's impossible. It, it just can't. I'm, I'm, I'm coding for a very, very, very long time and I cannot code for... Um, if I code for four hours straight, I think I have enough. My day is already, is already enough. So... And when, and when do you code is also very important because I don't understand these companies. I have a company myself and we, we work remotely and we have uh, Terry, I think Terry is here in, in, in the chat. Terry was an ex-employee. And Terry, I, I don't think Terry worked in the morning or something. I, I don't know, Terry, when you, I didn't even know when you work. When did you work? Tell me if you're here in the chat. But every person, and that's very important, you need to, this is actually a very important lesson, and clip this and send this to your uh, HR manager, and um, I'm, I will make him sit down, trust me, or her. Every person has a focus span, right? But it doesn't matter. There, there are maybe people that can focus for three hours in coding, right? But deep focus, and I mean, by deep focus, I mean solving problems, right? Not a simple GitHub issue, uh, change this diff to whatever. No, that's that's not coding. That, that's not coding. If you, no. I mean engineering, like making complex things, right? Some people can have three hours, some people can do five hours or four hours or four hours and a half, right? But that's the thing. But also every people has a timestamp in the day, a period in the day where you are the most productive. And for me, that's when I wake up. When I wake up, I take my coffee, and I, I can, and I code. And I'm so fucking focused, you have no fucking clue. But then, in the afternoon, I'm completely trash. My, my, I don't know what's, ha what's happening, I, I cannot focus. So what I do then is I do my, my, my things I want to do. I go to the gym at 12 o'clock. I eat, I go to the gym. I take, uh, I go, uh, I get my kids from school. And then I come back home, I make food. And when it's getting dark and everybody is going to sleep or whatever, everybody's going to Netflix, you know, what everybody's doing, Netflix, popping Pringles, blanket, all that stuff, playing Candy Crush or something. That's when I go back behind my, 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 my PC and when I can code again for three to four hours focused. And everything in between is gym, administration, and small tasks. Replying to emails, maybe fix a small, I don't know, some small stuff, right? Put out a fire, do a stupid meeting, that things. So if you work at the company and they force you to work from nine to five as a programmer, <laughs> They are legit trash. I'm so sorry. But they are wasting your potential. They are literally killing their own revenue. They are killing your potential. They are killing your productivity. Because it's impossible. And everybody has his own... Some people work better in the afternoon. Some people work... Everybody has his own timestamps. And that's exactly when you need to work your deep focus. And... If that's at four o'clock or at three o'clock in the afternoon, yeah, let it be it, right? And companies need to understand that and need to respect that. And I respect that as a as a as a founder, as a CTO. I respect that. I don't give a shit if you come work for my company and you work, I don't know, in the middle of the fucking night. Well, you work in the middle of the night. I don't care. Right? Tell them that. If, 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 if I would apply for a job and they say, oh yeah, but we, we uh, at 9 o'clock it's stand-up. 
Stand up. What, what are you going to say? I just woke up. What, what am I going to say to you? <laughs> what do you expect from me? I want to work. It's my, it's my deep focus time. And I need to go to stand up to listen to these other, to these other engineers uh, complaining about... Uh, I don't know. I mean, if you have an issue and you cannot solve it, just send me a fucking Slack message. And if I have time, then I will respond. I, 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 I literally have no clue what companies are fucking doing. It's crazy. Stand-up meetings. And then, and, and, and then in the evening, there's another meeting. Or something. It's, it's completely... I, I, you can see how I, I, I'm getting so angry about this. And these companies have no clue what's going on. Literally no clue. You can literally delete your, the half of your tech team. Just throw them out. If you work with 10 people, you can literally... Delete five people from your tech team. Let people work when they want. Give them creativity. Give them responsibility. Stop the fucking meetings. Stop taking... Let the people uh, lock times. Stop doing Jira. Stop doing all that bullshit. And these, those five people will turn into productivity monsters. <laughs> but people don't understand that. You know? That's why me is me. That's why I am. That's why... why, why I, I don't understand it. Anyway. You see, it's to these companies make, get me a delay here. Those bastards. Tell, tell your boss. And if he says, hm -hmm, quit your job. Quit, quit your job and search something else. Gus, glad I could catch a stream. Love the content you've been putting out. Thanks, Gus. Hey, much appreciate, man. It's your comments. It's your guys. It's actually you guys that keeps me going. Trust me. Pampula. The best of the best daily meat. <laughs> daily stand-ups, man. It's crazy. Oh, man. Nobody had time to do daily stand-ups. I'm fucking coding for your company. And I need to do a daily stand-up. I never, I never even sprints and all that stuff, man. All oh, It's bullshit. The only thing you need is a text editor and a to-do thingy and, 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 and get. And then some, some high-value engineers, two or three people, and you can literally move mountains. Me and Terry. Me and Terry, man. Oh, boy. That was insane. Me and Terry, we did work for 10 people. Me and Terry. And Terry is here in the chat. We did work for... Uh, it was crazy. I could call this guy. He was an employee. He was my employee. I could call this guy at 11 in the evening. And we did that. We did, we did meetings just sitting. I was sitting, chilling in my seat, coding. And he, uh, man, it was crazy. You see? It was completely different. But we did stuff, man. We did complex stuff. Anyway. Okay, now we need to focus. Let me quickly... All right, I know what to do. So we have this fault. We need to make a message. So we're going to do message ready. Um, um, status. Status. Come on, let's do this. Game status flop. Player ready. Dealing. Pre-flop. We can just say, uh, I don't know. Um, how how do how how are you gonna call this folded? I don't know. You tell me. Folded, right? Uh, let's me join this word real quick like this. Boom, and then we're gonna paste this play ready dealing pre flop, and then here, boom, all good. And we could do this, but we don't gonna do it. Okay, now, now we need to set this right. Um, what's going on here? Fault. And 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 here. Player action fault. Game status. Uh, we're gonna say game status status fault. 
folded. All right. Let's go. Let's see. Messages, messages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prefab, prefab, prefab. Oh, we have a big issue. Oh, look at this. Look at this corrupted behavior. We have a big issue. We have a we have some some something is wrong. But hey, uh, it's very very rare. But it, that's data data race. One hundred percent sure data race. No doubt about it. You see, everything is now fine. We need to fix that, and uh, we need to to do to do list. You see, no no fancy stuff. We're gonna say uh, fix uh, fix uh, data race uh, condition uh, where. Uh, multiple Wait, we could say fix possible possible data risk condition where multiple of the same uh, addresses are in the players list I think like that something like this all right that's done <clears throat> All right, so everybody's in preflop. That's fine. So we have this players list, right? And we saw that there were that there were uh, multiple multiple of the same same addresses in that list. And um, yeah, that's that's not Gucci, right? And we have that issue very very rarely. But that's exactly we we I think I booted up this uh, make run maybe fifty times. Uh, from from a couple of streams ago till now, May maybe maybe even more. And I think this is the second or the third time this happens. So, what do I mean by that? Is that you can run your application fifty times and everything is okay, and then the fifty-one one time, it's not okay, and you won't notice it because you you think everything is fine. So it's very important to make tests and, but tests and 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 it's nasty. It's just a, it's it's a. It's filthy. It's a filthy world, but hey. Um, okay, now we're going to open up Postman, right? And we're going to fault this guy. What is going on here? Where's my visual? Oh, shit. Look at this. VS Code on Twitter. Here. God damn it. Uh, of course, it's not registered. Ay, ay, ay. What's going on here? What's, what's it doing? Uh, I think it's in a server. And then we go to the bottom. And then we're going to say copy paste. And then... Um, wait, what's going on? Okay. Let's wait. Let's wait till everybody is nicely in preflop phase. Yes, yes. And then uh, you sent this. All oh, right. So we fold it, right? That's good. So we can see sending sending pillow to player. This we do actually too much stuff. We lock too much stuff to be honest, because this is. But yeah, you need to also need to understand that every server is logging is logging his version, right? Because normally, the servers would be distributed across different machines, but now we are bootstrapping these servers in our main.go file and we're booting them up at different ports. And uh, yeah, it's the same STD out, right? If that makes sense. Oh my god. 69mega.com. Find love and it's already been done. Night Nightbot already took care. Uh, Bisher, what keyboard do you use? Uh, Razer, Huntman, Razer Huntsman Mini. 60%. Querty, of course. With the custom keycaps, because I don't know, it looks cool. No, I think it was the Azerty. I bought it in Belgium, and in Belgium we are. <laughs> in Belgium they can't type, right? So they use Azerty. <laughs> uh, so I basically bought a new set of keys from Razer itself, and then I switched um, the Azerty to Querty. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we are folding, that's fine. Uh, let's clear this up. So now we need to find a way to 
control the fault, right? So if we get a fault from a different player, uh, I mean, from a player that's not his turn, then we should actually, I don't know, we should drop it or ignore it. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think it's a chroma, by the way, so I can change the colors, but of these keycaps, basically, um, they fuck the colors up for some reason. I don't know. But I don't care about the color, right? It's a good keyboard, but I don't... The clicky... Ah... My KGB, KGB, my Corsair KGB 70, 70% one. Uh, no, yeah, was better. The keys were better. I mean, maybe not better, but it, they were different keys. They were the soft, so ch -ch 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 soft, soft stuff. But hey, I will, I will, I will use it until it's broken. So how are you gonna fix that? Or maybe we could, uh, wait, let, let me quickly find this and then we can do a quick Q&A session where we can talk about stuff uh, before the stream because my, my focus is already, is getting drained. Um, and then we can do a nice clean stream tomorrow or something where we, we start a new task at hand. Right, and folding, fixing or, uh, what did we do actually today? Dealing thingy, status folding, player actions. Yeah, so we did we did we did what 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 I wanted to do. Um, but let me quickly check if we can see where. So we say fault, right? Oh, it's here! It's here actually. Um, handle player action. Do we get that? Let me quickly let me quickly do it again. Sorry, I missed I missed that logging. To be honest, uh, let me bootstrap the game. Right, so now we, we, in our main function. Yeah, you see, we got, we, yeah, you see? Received encrypted deck from the wrong player. Shit. That's the first time I see this. Uh, just came across. How do you how do you spell this? Uh, just came across this error. Yeah, something to fix. Uh, not quite sure. Let, let's let's boot up again. It's pretty normal, guys, that you have uh, that you will have errors uh, making making this thing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty common. It's also good that we that we see that, right? Because it's the it's happened in the dealing round trip, uh, and we we received the encrypted deck from a certain player in the table, right? Everybody needs to clockwise uh, shuffle his deck and encrypt it, and we received it from the wrong player. So it's a message that came before another message, or in some sense, it, it's weird. We, we, I need to check that why, but we have it very 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 rarely. This is the first time I. Uh, can you explain the race condition? I don't understand. Yeah, well, the thing is, is it a race condition? I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm not quite sure, but the thing is, a race condition itself is basically just, uh, you need to, it's, it's a race between an expectations. I'm gonna try it in, in human forms, in, in, in very human readable thing. A race condition is basically an, exp an expectation you have that's so wh what do we expect we expect that a, that a player that player one sends his deck to player two and if player two expects that the deck he's receiving is from player one and not from player three or player whatever it needs to be from player one but there can be a race between messages and that they get out of sync or that we did not lock some 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 state in, in some way where somebody could access a variable first where we actually expected that this variable wrote or read it first but that didn't happen and this guy was first but this needs to be first but this guy was first so it's completely not it's broke 
and you can like i said before you can run that you can run that one million times and everything is fine but the one million and one time this guy is is, is before you and that's a race condition kind of right kind of explained in my terms but now we are in harmony every everybody's in equilibrium right everybody's happy so now we're gonna quickly fold boom and then uh yes received player action so everybody received folded one which is the player action right is a folded action 7,000 received, 5,000 received, and 3,000 received, which is basically everybody that needs to receive it. So that's good. And I think we're gonna make a special stream uh, to fix to fix what errors we have, right? Because we cannot we cannot accumulate these guys, right? You can accumulate a couple errors, but at a certain point of time you need to fix them, because otherwise you have a bad time. So we're gonna. We're gonna make a stream where we're going to be bug fixers, you know what I mean? With our anti-insect spray, and we're gonna, we're gonna clean them. But this, these two are gonna nasty, these two issues are gonna be nasty. Well, it depends. It's, it's either gonna be super simple to solve, or we're gonna sit here for a fucking long time. <laughs> That's coding, right? It's either easy or complex. And most of the time, if you think it's going to be easy, it's going to be complex. And, and, and if you think, oh, no, this is going to take me a week, you're going to fix it in an hour. That's uh, the life of a software engineer. So I'm not going to... That's why people, again, these project managers, how long are you going to take for this issue? As long as I need to be. <laughs> it could be one minute. It could be, it could be one year. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm so sorry, my man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Project Manager. You actually know nothing about technology and, 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 and such, but you feel good with your laptop and your costume. But you're actually complete useless in the, in, in the company. So why are you asking me actually questions? I will decide when it's done. No? You know, you need to say if somebody, how long is going to take, then you need to say with tests or without tests. Um, player action, okay. How are you going to check that? Maybe we should actually do like current dealer, right? So you see, everybody has a, has, has, has a current dealer, so everybody is in harmony. But um, maybe we should have like a current current player, current player turn or something. I think we, we need to we need to have something like that. Uh, because if uh, wait if you are in pre-flop because we, we we can know that right and i think we're gonna do that in another stream to be honest because uh it's gonna be somewhat complex and i can make mistakes i think we need to have like a current i don't think do we i think we need to store that I think we need to make an, another atomic variable, uh, which is going to be the current. Okay, how how can we can we can we name this variable the current current player? But current player, current turn player, current player turn, current turn player. I don't know. It is what it is. We are not a Ruby. We are not a Ruby community. So we can do whatever we want. In 32. Why in 32? Because then we can use uh, atomic atomic shenanigans, right? Uh, current player uh, turn should be atomic as accessible. So and that's where we're gonna left off, right? And then now we're gonna take some time to solve some uh, to to answer some questions. And uh, the next time. The next stream we're gonna make sure we can track the current player's turn and see how we're gonna fix that. So each time we get a player action, 
right? Each time our server receives a player action, we can decide if that is there is this coming from the right player with the right status and 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 some some verif verification. Uh, and let players sync, let the whole network sync, so everybody knows that that you know what you know what distributed stuff, right? All right. Are there any questions that we need to tackle? That we need to get rid of out of the world? Some 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 misconceptions or uh, get at uh, the whole shebang. And I'm gonna say get commit uh, min. I'm gonna say um, fixed no whip. Player actions. And I want to use Vim commands, but but I don't have that in, in, in my terminal. So help. Uh, and I'm going to say push origin master. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Are there any questions? Let me quickly see how... Man, this Twitter is going local. Everybody's following me suddenly. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> Man, <coughs> I'm, <st> <coughs> I'm choking. That's fine. No questions, man. That's 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 easy. Maybe if nobody's watching, that could also be the case. I'm not quite sure because I don't see how many people are in. <coughs> What's going on? I'm dying <coughs> because I don't see how many people are in in, in the chat. I, I literally can't see this. I, I can I cannot see anything. If if I click participants, I'm I'm the only one here. <laughs> oh my goodness! Could you imagine streaming for myself? That would be savage, but also sad <laughs> in the same time. All right, so if there are no any questions, uh, guys, then I think uh, I'm going to wrap it up. And I would thank everyone um, for watching the stream. And if you like the content I am providing, consider subscribing to my channel. Give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, ask questions, jump into the Discord. Uh, in our Discord community, where we basically keep absorbing information where we where i'm helping people out where we help each other out in the projects uh solving questions going rust whatever it doesn't matter we also have a good memes so consider doing that dsp i'm here what up man do you prefer golang or rust uh if you are making a stack-based programming language i would use i would use rust to be honest if you do stack-based things or just programming language in general unless you you just want to <coughs> man something is wrong Uh, unless you just want to you, you just want to learn about how how to make a programming language then you could use a simple language like python or go or something uh, just to make your life a little bit easier but if you really want to want to make a performant compiler or a performant virtual machine then then i would use rust for sure yeah i think that's the best option or c++ but then i would use rust because it's more modern and um, it makes more sense Yes, my man. Rust is the way to go. Federico, I'm here, but have a difficult, but have difficult to write. Why? Are you on a cell phone or something? I need to. Oh, I hate typing on a cell phone, man. It's cre ah, man. I literally typing on a cell phone is. And then, then you have the MacBook, right? I, I have the MacBook from I think four years ago. And I'm a Vim user, right? A Vim user. Can you imagine? And I had a MacBook where Apple decided to make the escape a touch button. <laughs> Come on, man. That was BS as fuck. The whole bar, they had a touch bar, the MacBook, man. It's crazy. And I, my escape button was a, was a touch screen. I was so sad. Although I don't use escape to, to, to exit my modus, but still... Sometimes when my Vim, when I don't have a Vim config, for example, if I'm SSHing into a server and I want to exit Vim, then I need to press, uh, then it, when I exit my insert mode, then I need to, to press 
escape. And then I need to use a touch screen. This is programmer hell. Man. I, I told my, my girlfriend before, if, if, I'm, if the world evolves to where people are using these touch keyboards where you just need to type with a touch keyboard or touch screens, then that's the time I'm, I'm, I'm retiring. I'm peacing out. I'm not touching any keyboard anymore. That's why I'm going to save mine. So it's going to be an ancient relic. And everybody coming from 2100 or something, they're going to see what the hell are you guys doing? A mechanical keyboard. <laughs> You're coming from the, from, the, from, the, from, the, from the dinosaur age. The time people could type against 210 words per minute. <clears throat> and I can't, I can't. 210, I don't know, even know if that's a thing. I don't know how, how, far, how fast I can type. I think if I do type race or something, it's it depends. I don't know, 110? One, 100? 110 maybe? Depends. Maybe if I practice more the same text, I could I could I could I could do it better, but depends. Depends on, on, on the sentences. Sometimes you have these commas and all this crazy stuff going on and then ah, then you're stuck and then you have 90 or something, then you're sad. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you tomorrow or in the next video or on the Discord. Thanks for watching and um, see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Evening.